All right, now in today's video, let's check out a few useful tips for the Gboard on Android phones. Recently, Google has added a brand new feature called Flick for Symbol. Yes, now we will be able to just flick on these keys to enter the symbols. Now, for example, you can see all these symbols on these keys and all these uh, numbers on these keys. I can just flick on a specific key. Let's say I want to enter six. I can just flick on this key to enter that specific number. Let's say now I want to enter star. I can just do this to enter star there. And if I want to enter plus, just flick on the key to enter these symbols. Now this is available right there on the Gboard settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go to the Gboard settings. Under preferences, we've got a brand new toggle here, which you can see called flick keys to enter symbols. Now you need to enable this specific toggle. It says touch a key and pull downwards to enter its hinted symbol. And then we've got flick input sensitivity as well. You can set it to normal, high or low, depending on your requirement. Now, under preferences, Google has also added this toggle recently to disable the full stop key. As you can see, we've got this toggle disable full stop key. When I disable this, what happens is, uh, on the keyboard, we get the extra space for the space bar here. The full stop key was right here, but now we are able to get a bigger space bar here just in case if you need it. But now you may have a question, how do you use the full stop key? For that, all you can do is when you type the word, just double tap on the space bar, you can see the full stop is already there. All you need to do is just double tap on the space bar. Now doing this will increase the space bar size here, nothing much, but yeah, just in case if you want this kind of a setup, you can go ahead and do this. Just go to the settings, tap on preferences, uh, and all you need to do is just uh, disable the full stop key. And you have to make sure, enable double space full stop toggle, only when you have done it, you will be able to double tap on the uh, space bar to enter the full stop key. Next, we can make the emoji show up right there on the symbols keyboard. You can see this is the symbols keyboard. When I tap on numbers, you get the symbols and numbers here. Now here you can make these emojis appear. For this, all you need to do is just go to settings, tap on emojis, keys and stickers, enable emojis in symbol keyboard. If you disable this, you can see when I tap on symbols, you don't see the uh, emojis here. But when I enable this, let's just enable this again. Now you can see, the emojis will show up here when you tap on symbols keyboard. You'll be able to uh, use the recently used emojis right here. Next, you can see we've got this quick access emojis right here. This is a complete row of uh, emojis available right above the keyboard. You can get this by going to the settings and uh, go to the emojis, stickers and GIFs and here enable emoji fast access row. Now if you're on Samsung messaging application or some other messaging apps, this uh, row may not show up and this works perfectly fine on the Google messages. Next, I've got another useful tip for you guys with respect to emoji stickers and GIF. You see this option called show button to add multiple emojis. You can add multiple emojis related to your content with one tap. Let me show you how this works. Let's go back here. Now let's say I select a specific emoji here and here we go. We have got this button which pops up right here. I can just tap on this to add multiple emojis which are related to the emoji that I selected. Let's say now I, I select this specific emoji here, crying, and I tap on this button here. You see it adds some emojis there, but sometimes it just throws up any emojis which may not be related to what I have first selected. But yeah, this option is there. You can enable it by going to settings, tap on emojis, uh, stickers and GIFs, and here enable show button to add multiple emojis. That's fantastic. Here is another tip with regard to emojis. Let's say you have selected a specific emoji. You can see we have got multiple options of stickers here related to that. You can just tap on this to access the stickers and send it right from here. So the stickers are available right here. Again, this may not work that well with the Samsung messaging application if you are using Gboard on the Samsung messaging application or any other uh, third party applications. These features work really well with the Google messaging application. For some reason, these are integrated only on Google messaging application. They should have made Gboard seamless on all other third party applications as well. Next, whenever you take a screenshot, you will be able to directly paste it by getting that screenshot on the clipboard on Gboard. For that, all you need to do is just go to these settings again. Let's go to Gboard settings. Here, open clipboard. And here we go. We've got save screenshots in clipboard. Just enable this, allow all access. And now whenever you take a screenshot, let me just take a screenshot here. You see the screenshot is available right here. You can just tap on this to attach that screenshot. It says attachments are not supported in this conversation, but on any applications which, on which it is supported, you will be able to access the clipboard and access that image, the, the screenshot that you've taken right on the clipboard. 
Now, here is something interesting. You may not be aware of this particular feature. Now you can see we have got the delete button here. When I tap on the delete button, it deletes the letters. And when I press and hold on the delete button, it will delete these words letter by letter. Now instead, to delete the words, what you can also do is just swipe on this delete key towards the left. It will select the letters here. As you can see, it selects and then I just remove my finger. It deletes that specific selected words, which is pretty cool. Let me just do this again. You can see it is deleting the words. All I need to do is just glide on this uh, button here, the delete button, and then lift your finger. Then it deletes the content. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Next, the customization. We can create our own themes for the Gboard, which you are all aware of. And while creating it, you can also add a background from your gallery, which is really cool. This feature is available on a Samsung Galaxy phone's keyboard, the Samsung keyboard, and it's also available here on the Gboard. Let's go to theme and tap on my themes. Let's create a new one here. You can see I can select a specific image. Let's say I select this image and I can use any portion of this image to set it as background. Let me just set, select this, tap on next. As you can see, this is the background that I get on the keyboard, which is fantastic. You can also adjust the brightness. As you can see, it looks beautiful. I'll just tap on done. And now this is the keyboard that I have. Let me just apply this, Let's go back. You can see it just looks beautiful. These are some tips I wanted to share with you guys as far as the Gboard is concerned. Let me know if you've got any additional hidden tips or tricks, drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And we are also running a promotional campaign for our Volvo's application. The lifetime membership is available at 50% discount now. All you need to do is just open the application, go to your profile, tap on premium. Here you can see, uh, 1200 rupees is now at 600 rupees, which is 50% off. And in all other countries, the lifetime membership is 50% off. So if you're interested, go ahead and get this. This is for limited period only. That's about it. That's all I have here in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're interested in these widgets, I will be posting a brand new video about it. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.